Hello, my name is Lisa, a.k.a. Sarah Alexia, and this is my ultimate Wizard of Oz collection. As you can tell, I have a very extensive Wizard of Oz collection. These are my plush um, that I have received off of eBay, and those are the ruby slippers that I bought myself from Target. My mother brought me the Dorothy, and I bought the Glinda, one in the back is from eBay. That horse of a different color was a Christmas present. That was given to me by an ex-friend of mine, and I still hang it up. If you swing on over, that is the Wicked Witch, and this is a Halloween bag. I come up... <clears throat> And you will see the Trevco Dorothy dolls with the Nutcracker and the now all the collection of Oz, of Brass Key. I have four out of the six with Barbies. What you see here is an in-depth um, view of what I have. If I had more light, you could see differently. But I've got plates in the back, which I think you can see. That's the San Francisco Music Box. This right here is Margaret Pellegrini. She signed it to me because I sent her something. She was a munchkin. And this is a very beautiful piece. David Grossman, an autographed. I have <clears throat> ornaments as well. This is a picture of my mother who got me into The Wizard of Oz. And this is my collection. You can see, if you can make it out, The Wizard of Oz, an animated movie. Yes, I have a very big collection. Coming back over, this is what I began to show you. The smaller brass key collection, Wizard of Oz. No babies. Wizard of Oz, Jim Shaw, in my shelf that I made myself. I also have down below more Oz collectibles. All this has to be sorted out. I have the crayons that I was going to use, and the journal with the uh, Kurt Adler um, Fabrice. Uh, characters. The middle item, the Dorothy and the Witch, was given to me by a friend, a very nice, wonderful friend named Lou. He is also a Wizard of Oz collector. I bought this one myself, and I bought that one myself. And if I turn this around, you get a little treat. It's Dorothy. Yeah. Everything in the back. You can see all. I have the Kelly Barbies in the back, as you can tell. Now, if I get off my bed, I could show you more. As I turn, I go up. That's a actual <coughs> clock with more stuff. It's an ornament, and this is a Wizard of Oz Emerald City in the back. Over here, I have a picture. The new Oz. It's a new Oz Christmas stocking. And this is one of my Oz pillows. Well, Oz pillowcases. I bought the fabric. Other people made some for me. I have a bunch of stuff here. This. All that. I even have an autograph picture of Almon the man who played Almanzo Wilder, since Little House on the Prairie is my favorite television show. I was given to that by Secret Pal from the Everything Oz group on YouTube, on, uh, not YouTube, on Yahoo Groups. Everything Oz at Yahoo Groups dot com. And we do secret pals where we give each other stuff all year long. And it's very nice. I have to fix everything now. I even have a nice picture frame, if you can tell. I put my Wizard of Oz tickets in it.
that I went to go see earlier this year. Ornaments and more stuff. This is on my other wall. More. More Oz over here as well. Yes. More Oz. Can you see it all? And this is my little area on the other side of my bed. Can you see? So I have the Oz F&B collection. I do have more down there, but it's too hard to get to because I have to clean my room a little bit so I can put more. I have to integrate more into my shelves, so I really have to clean my room a lot down on the floor area because I have to get into the bottom shelves. You can see that I do have some in here. I have to move things around, like I said, and integrate things, fix it all nice, nice. But I do have this wonderful collection. I have Wicked stuff. I have Barbies. I have these. these is, this is the dancing collection. I also have all of this. Some of this is the Madame Alexander doll from um, McDonald's, yes. <clears throat> what you see before you and what they're sitting on is a scape that I bought for about $35 a couple years ago. <clears throat> As I come up, you see the Wizard of Oz bobbleheads. Look closer. Aren't they pretty? I love it. Well, I got into this at the age of three. My mother, um, sat me down, made me watch the movie, and I flipped out. Oh, isn't that nice right there? I had to have that. I like that. And this is my little, my little collection, if you want to call it that. More stuff. What is this? Oh my god, there's more! Yes, there is. As you can tell, I do have a little wicked collection. This is what's on my door. One, two, three, four. I also have the new Oz Pez. Yay! You can find it. Yes, you will. And these are the Oz talking dolls. Talking Barbie dolls, as you can see, if you can see, I have the Wicked Witch down there, Cowardly Lion, Wicked, that's the Wicked Witch of the East, I also have the Witch of the West, I believe up there, but that's a different one, where is my Witch of the West, I do have it, but I have all of these which match most of what are over here as well. That's everything, basically, inside of my room. So, hopefully, you will enjoy what's here. If you can hear, my friend Lou is actually trying to contact me on AOL, so I have to go now. But I wanted to show you my room, and I'm going to show you me as well. I'm Lisa, a.k.a. Sarah Alexia. And I hope you have enjoyed a tour of my bedroom and my Oz collection. Thank you very much. There will be more than this is part of the Ozian oddities of my actual little sort of web show. Thank you. Bye-bye.